I'm Shelby Hartman, Double Blinds co-founder and editor-in-chief, and I'm here to talk to you about orange juice and tripping. So, if you tripped in college or in your 20s or maybe even more recently, you might have had a friend tell you that you should keep orange juice on hand because it would either intensify your trip or prevent a bad trip or stop a trip altogether. There is all kinds of baloney out there about what orange juice will and won't do to your trip. So let's talk about it. Orange juice, like all citrus fruits, contains acetic acid, which converts psilocybin, one of the primary psychoactive ingredients in psychedelic mushrooms, to psilocin. But orange juice, especially orange juice from concentrate, from the store, Tropicana, doesn't have a lot of acetic acid. So if you're looking to intensify your trip through citrus, then really standard best practices are something called lemon teching. And we have an article on lemon teching and we have a video on how to do it, but essentially you grind up the mushrooms and you pour lemon juice over them and you let them soak for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, and then you take the mushrooms as a shot. And you can do that with lime juice and you can do it with red wine vinegar, but it doesn't really work with orange juice. Orange juice and acid. Lots of legend and lore about orange juice and acid. And actually some really hilarious stories from decades ago and even some of my friends have stories about people thinking that they are orange juice when they're on acid. Yes, you heard me right. They think <laughs> that they turn into juice. And there's this story that was reported by uh, Susanna Weiss, who's a journalist of ours, in Complex where she talks about this man who was worried that someone was gonna drink him because he was orange juice, okay? And they call it the OJ mindset. In all seriousness, I'll just say that if you don't have a lot of experience on psychedelics, a lot of crazy things can definitely happen when you are on a psychedelic, okay? I mean, you can see things that aren't there, the walls can distort, distortions of space and time, but I would venture to guess you have to do a lot of acid to think that you have turned into a cup of orange juice or a bottle of orange juice or a carafe of orange juice. Now let's actually get to how orange juice and acid combine together. So people say that orange juice can prevent or end a bad LSD trip. Sorry guys, I really wish that was true, but it's not. We interviewed James Giordano, who is a neuroscientist at Georgetown University, and he basically said, uh, once the LSD is in your brain, nothing is really going to stop the trip. Certainly not a cup of orange juice. What about orange juice and MDMA or orange juice and ketamine? Sorry, according to the experts we interviewed, that's probably not very useful either. But something that might be is grapefruit juice. Certain compounds in grapefruits inhibit enzymes that break down drugs in your body, actually making these drugs more potent. But it only happens with drugs that are metabolized by a class of enzymes called cytochrome enzymes. And those are in both MDMA and ketamine. Honestly, the strongest evidence we have for orange juice and tripping is that orange juice might help mushrooms come on a little faster and stronger due to the acetic acid, which is going to convert the psilocybin to psilocin. But again, if that's what you're looking for, then you might as well just use lemon or lime juice because it's gonna work a lot better. <laughs>